Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am finally in New York. We have got to our hotel. It's actually the next day after we landed, but I haven't had chance to do the intro because when we arrived yesterday, we were so jet lagged because we got in, our flight was super delayed. So the plans we had to meet some of my colleagues in the New York office were canceled. And then we just basically went around Target and Trader Joe's in a complete like we were not in our bodies we were so tired but i will do a haul of what i bought because i also am planning on going to target again to get today to get a few things that i couldn't get so i will do a haul at some point but we are in a rush now to get out of the hotel because today is my day it is thursday and i get today tom gets tomorrow to do what he wants to do so today is looking like a book shopping day but i think because this trip is so jam-packed i'm gonna do a separate book vlog so that will include like a book haul as well maybe depending on how much i buy and i will address the elephant in the room which is my tbr challenge i think i'm even going to do another video on that which will also explain where i was at with my tbr challenge yeah that's kind of the plan we have so many different social activities in New York because my office, my corporate job, have an office in New York. So we're here for my friend's wedding who is an ex-colleague. That's on the Saturday. I'm meeting an old boss, I'm meeting a new boss, and then we might see some friends that I couldn't see because we were obviously delayed yesterday and couldn't meet them. So it's gonna be super jam-packed, filled with like really good restaurants, really good food, a wedding, book shopping, some tourist stuff. We're gonna try and find some like movie locations as well. So today I'm gonna get out. The plan is to go to Central Park for a walk, to go, like I said, maybe to like Target and things like that to get things that I couldn't get before because I have this huge list of things I want. We're gonna do some book shops. On my list is Barnes & Noble because I've got to pick up a special edition book. Go to a few more bookshops, but I will show you in the other vlog. And then we're just gonna literally explore and see where we go. Meeting my old boss, for lunch today then meeting my new boss in the evening for dinner so let's get straight into it it's the next day it's friday i don't know where yesterday went it was supposed to be my book shopping day and i literally went in barnes noble really quick to pick up the book and then that was it we went to target and i did see some books there but there wasn't that much so it wasn't really a book shopping day at all but it was super nice so we started early morning walk around central park then we came more around like fifth avenue we went to meet my boss for lunch and it was so nice her daughter was there it was really cute the place was really nice as well and then we walked through central park which took like over an hour but we went to the met steps um because obviously i was in my gossip girl feels as we did that and then obviously the met gala so I showed Tom that because he hasn't seen it before. Then we walked back through Central Park. I then went to pick up some shoes from Coach that I wanted. I'm going to do a big haul of everything I bought at the end of this video. And then we literally came back, got ready and met my new boss for dinner. My new boss wanted to like have dinner quite early. So we went at half five. So literally we went from lunch. We walked through the city. Then we went to Hell's Kitchen for food, which was super cool. It was nice. We walked through like Times Square and everything to get to the restaurant and then home through Times Square as well. So we kind of ticked that off a little bit because it was kind of giving Leicester Square vibes slash Piccadilly Circus and as Londoners we're not too keen on like super touristy areas it's quite overwhelming so we came back and it lasted like three four hours it was so nice it was so good to get like a locals food recommendation as well so we did that so today we're going to tick off a few more things I'm hoping the ripped bodice romance only bookshop in Brooklyn is one of them my friend's wedding is tomorrow and we're going to go meet her for brunch as well in Brooklyn. So we're going to do that. But we're, before that, it's quite early. It's like half seven because jet lag has got us up really early. So we're going to go to the High Line, walk from there down to like the friend's apartment, Ghostbusters, then go meet my friend for brunch, then do a bit of exploring in Brooklyn. My boyfriend wants to go to a brewery and I want to go to this bookshop. And then we are going out for dinner together tonight as well. So that's where we're at. It's quite action packed. I wanted to do more than I thought we did get done and i think it's because everything is actually a lot further apart than you think it is so yeah 
that's us and we're gonna go get ready to head out. Tom said I didn't update you on where we went for food. It was Puerto Rican, we had tacos and guacamole, salsa and margaritas, quite a few margaritas. He said that was a vital part of the vlog I was missing. So there you go. Are you happy now? Very happy. Okay. We're walking along the High Line and I have a huge coffee. Say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm about to do a uh, face mask with Tom and a lip mask for my dry lips before the wedding tomorrow. It is only half eight, but we are so exhausted and we've just come back from dinner. But today was super busy, so much walking. How many steps have we done? Uh, 17,000 steps. We've done 17,000 steps today and then we did like 20,000 yesterday. So we've had like a knock on of absolute exhaustion. Today was so good. We started off like I got up at 5 a.m. because of my jet lag. So we went for a walk, but we went along the High Line, which was what Tom wanted to do. And it was so cool, it was so nice. It was a little bit cold. Like it's really weird that the temperature starts at like eight degrees Celsius, but then we'll go up to 22. I don't ever think it spikes in a day quite that dramatically in London. So we were freezing at one point and really hot when it got later in the day, but we survived, it was all good. I think I'm gonna dress a bit warmer tomorrow. But yeah, we did the Highline walk, then we went to the friend's apartment and then we also went to Cornelia Street and I think number 23 is where Taylor Swift used to live. And then Cornelia Street is a song. So it was really cool to see that. And then we went to meet my friend for lunch and for, well, brunt, and she's getting married tomorrow. So it was really nice that she spent the day before the wedding with us. She treated us to lunch. It was really, I keep saying lunch, but I mean brunch. We went to Sunday in Brooklyn and they have one in Notting Hill, but we've never gone because it's really far from where we live. So we went there and it was really cool to actually go to the Brooklyn brunch spot, like the original one. It was really good. We ate so much, but we had bagels before we went, like when we were walking along the High Line, I got a massive Dunkin' coffee and we had a bagel and we've still got half of it like in the fridge because they were so big so we've been just full all day and then after we went to sunday in brooklyn we went to the ripped bodice it's a romance only bookshop and that is going to be in my book shopping vlog because that was so cool it was literally the best yeah i loved it it was such a nice bookshop even tom was like this is one of the nicest bookshops i've ever been to and then after that we went to a brewery which was like on i don't actually know the location of it but it was along like Hudson River and you could see the Statue of Liberty which was really cool. Then after that we came back here, had a nap, then went out for dinner but before dinner we were super early so we went shopping a little bit to the massive Barnes & Noble bookshop. Again that will be in a separate bookshopping vlog. It was so cool, I spent way too much money. I loved it, it was so great and I've been to two amazing bookshops today so I'm very very happy. And then we went to a like vegan restaurant. I went, hit, I went there with my friend when I visited last time so we went because Tom's vegetarian so I took him because I thought he would like it it was really good we were just really full so yeah that was our day and now we're coming back here we're putting face masks on getting ready for the wedding tomorrow the wedding doesn't start till five so we're gonna go shopping a little bit in the morning to some bookshops and then some normal shops as well so I will obviously film and keep filming and give you lots of updates so ignore if you can hear any like background noise the aircon in this room is really loud and I didn't realize that when I was filming the intro to this video but yeah we have like quite a noisy hotel room but it's New York so can't expect anything less but hopefully it doesn't pick it up too much and then also forgive the way I look right now I am going to my friend's wedding today it is Saturday her wedding is in the evening so I obviously don't want to ruin my hair too much so I'm gonna be walking around the shops today with my hair like this walking around Manhattan but my boss when I met her for lunch the other day she was like no one is gonna care it's New York like literally you could walk around with birds on your head and no one would notice so we're going for this today I have just filmed the book haul 
I had to do a mini like book haul in the middle of my book shopping video that I'm filming for New York because I've bought so many books. So if you want to see what I get, I'm not sure which video will be out first, but I'm so excited for you guys to see what I've bought because I have been buying so much stuff that is really like you cannot get it in the UK. So it's just been so fun to pick out all of the like US book covers and enjoy how floppy the books are in the US. So I went to town, I've had fun, but I've also gone to town with some normal shopping. So I thought I would do a haul now because also I bought so much that I probably need to do a haul now and then maybe one later today because we are actually having a shopping day today. So I've gone to Target, multiple Targets. I also bought some shoes from Coach and I went to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna show you everything I bought. Less exciting, well actually no, food is exciting, snacks are exciting. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers that are based in the US. So when I see what snacks they buy, I have wanted to buy them. And I can't remember, I think Steph was eating these. I think it was Steph, which is the ranch veggie straws. In the UK, you can only get the salted ones. So I picked these up. I thought I would try them between now and when I got home and then maybe buy another bag, but I just haven't eaten them. So I'll probably just take them home because we've been eating so good because we've met so many of my friends or like colleagues that we've been eating really well and they've spoiled us to food. So yeah, I picked up those. And then Sarah Caroli really goes on about these snacks in all of her YouTube videos, which is the Trader Joe's pretzels. She normally gets the dark chocolate ones, but I saw the milk chocolate. So I got both. And then I'm absolutely obsessed with salted and sweet snacks. And if you can't tell, pretzels are like one of my most favorite snacks. So my friends actually got these, my work colleagues, and they left them for me. You can get them in the UK, but you can only get them in, like I've only ever found them in, say, in Sainsbury's in Edinburgh, and I can't find them anywhere else. So they picked these up for me. I've got a small pack and a big pack. We don't get these big packs in the UK. My sister, this is so random, but I call her princess and I have for like a year and a half. Like that is literally what I call her. I don't call her by her name. So I saw the princess goldfish, so I had to buy them. And then I've seen all over like Instagram reels, things that you can get in Target that you can't get in the UK. And that is the Tide pen, which is like a stain remover pen. You literally can't get them. So I picked up some for me, my sister and my friend. And then obviously it wouldn't be a trip without getting Lola a toy. I, when I first came to New York, not first, the third time I came to New York most recently, I got her a Mets baseball bat. So we went to Petco and I got the Yankees one. And then for my sister's dog, I got, oh, it's so loud. I got this hockey stick. And then obviously I got the Trader Joe's tote because everyone has them in London. It's so random. like. I see them all the time, so I wanted to fit into that trend, so I bought one. And then, my biggest purchase, I had seen these before coming over here, which are co they're coach loafers, I'll show you them. My work colleague had them on, I don't normally work with her, she's in another office, and I saw them on her, and I'd been looking at them online, and I said to her, oh my god, these are so nice, I've been thinking of getting them, and she was like, they're the best purchase I ever made, they're so comfortable, I'm obsessed with them, I've got like three pairs. So she convinced me to get them. I was almost gonna get them in the UK, but they were like over 200 pounds. But in the New York store, it literally conversion cost me like 150 pounds. It was so much cheaper. I think I almost saved 100 pounds on these shoes. So it was a no brainer to get them. But I wore them the first night to go meet my work colleague for dinner and my feet are destroyed. I had to walk around in Birkenstocks yesterday because my feet are so blistered. I don't think, I didn't do the hair dry trick to like loosen the leather, but I'm hoping that my work colleague is right and that they're the comfiest pair of shoes she owns because if they constantly hurt my feet, I won't be able to wear them. And I've obviously already worn them outside now, so I can't return them. But yeah, I'm hoping I can just break them in and then they will become my favorite pair of shoes because they're so pretty. So yeah, that is the haul so far. Today is a shopping day. It is almost half nine. We're gonna get, I'm gonna get a Dunkin' coffee because I really enjoyed it yesterday when we went round. It was huge, the medium was absolutely massive. So I'm gonna get one of those. I think Tom's gonna get a bagel. Then we're gonna do a few shops. He has to do some stuff for his traveling, get a few things. We're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. Then we're gonna tick off two bookshops and then we're gonna get ready for the wedding and then do whatever we wanna do tomorrow, leftover. I'm hoping we're not too hungover tomorrow. I'm looking at him as I say this, but yeah. And dinner was nice yesterday, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. It was a vegan restaurant. So yeah, we've had a good time. It's just flying. So yeah, we are gonna get straight back out there now and not waste any more time in the hotel room.
we have legit shopped until we've actually dropped. There's Tom. Dad. Oh no, I didn't get you in, there you go. <laughs> and now we're having an Olipop because I bought them in Target ages ago because I have not been able to get them in the UK. I've even tried to ship them because people talk about them so much, but I got them in Target and we've only just had one now and I've got the strawberry vanilla one. It is so yummy. And Tom has the orange one, which you're enjoying? Yeah, I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, more he's loving it. We are gonna get, Tom's gonna get Chipotle because he's obsessed with it. I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A for lunch. I'm so excited. Every colleague has been like, have you been to Chick-fil-A yet? So I'm gonna go there. We're gonna go to McNally bookstore. We're gonna go to Strand bookstore tomorrow with Ghostbusters and Brooklyn Bridge because it's a bit far away from where we are now. And we wanna have a bit of a chill because our feet hurt so much before the wedding because I've got to wear heels. So that's us and yeah. I've got more of a haul to do, but I might need to do that tomorrow at another point <laughs> because I'm in a rush now to get to Chick-fil-A. if you can hear background noise behind me i think the cleaner is in the room next door but i didn't do a haul of what i bought yesterday it is the next day it is sunday and yesterday we went shopping as you know i bought this stanley cup because the price of a stanley here is like if it's 35 pounds in the uk it's 35 dollars here so it's so much cheaper i bought my sister like a teddy quarter zip kind of thing from nordstrom rack i'm only doing this one-handed so I won't get it out and then I got myself like a fluffy Levi jacket which was nice and then I also did some book shopping which I will add to my book video and then we went to the wedding yesterday it was so nice and like elegant it was proper Upper East Side so it was really giving Blair Waldorf we loved it it did just finish really early it started at 5 and finished at 10 so we were in bed by 11 I think they were doing an after party but we decided not to go because we have a flight today so yeah it's columbus day parade today like around our hotel but we didn't realize that because it's like columbus day weekend so we are gonna go to brooklyn bridge and ghostbusters house and no not house it's like a fire thing isn't it Firehouse. ghostbusters firehouse and then hopefully to another bookshop today before our flight home tonight and then we had like an, a diner experience in Central Park this morning, which was, we got ripped off massively, but it was good. So yeah, final day. I feel like you'll be able to hear the background noise of Tom in the shower, but we have landed back in the UK. I have just done the bed sheets, started doing some washing. We are so jet lagged and exhausted because it was a night flight, but then obviously like we landed at 9 a.m. UK time, which would have felt like 4 a.m. And we only had like two hours to three hours sleep on the flight. So I'm looking forward to bed tonight and then I've got work tomorrow, but it'll be fine. I am going to just sit here now and edit this New York video, which is really exciting. It's really nice to look back at everything. It was such a fun trip. We did so much yesterday and the fact that we've only had a few hours sleep in between like doing a huge like tourist day yesterday in New York. So coming back to the UK today, but I'm so glad I've got the day off work. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to edit this video, um, but thank you so much for watching. All of my socials are in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video, which is my book shopping video. Video, I should say the New York book shopping video so make sure you check that out. <laughs> <laughs>